Steam Series, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. And it was a juicy Jerry Curl at that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Coming to America type, right? I knew right. the moves. Yeah. The thriller moves. Yeah, it was do, so do. cool. Michael okay. Jackson, miss him. He took a passion for lighting and animated his house, and it's time for this week's STEAM Profile. Our focus today is tech, engineering, and math. CBS 2 Serene Branson introduces us to a Halloween illuminator. It sings, it transforms, it dazzles, and it's one of the standouts of the Inland Empire Halloween season. The house becomes alive. Meet Brian Foster. Every October, he transforms his home in Highland into a spectacular attraction. I like to think of myself as a holiday lighting enthusiast. The colors, the swirls, singing pumpkins, and bones that dance to the beat. The planning for it all begins months in advance. The first or second week of January. It starts like this. You've got computer software, it's called x Lights, and you take a picture of your house. You decide what props you want, which music, and measure the dimensions of the areas that need to perform. The software spits out what has to happen to make the vision come to life. That is a 16-port long-range controller. Brian calls his masterpiece Dancing Lights in Highland. It's a love-hate relationship. I love when it's done. The hate part? Pushing every single light bulb. There's 10,800 light bulbs. All of those lights have to be perfectly in alignment with what you did on the computer to what you actually physically do to the house itself. Of all the STEAM disciplines, Brian relies most on technology, engineering, art, and math. While the software sends commands to controllers. You have to engineer where you want to put the controllers because the controllers shouldn't be any more than 25 feet away from the lights. And they can't be overburdened. On eight outputs, you only have 350 watts. And each light bulb is 0.55 watts. A lot of math involved. Once the design is complete, all the electronics in place. It was about three or four months of pushing the light bulbs into the props, testing controllers out with the computer software. The, the result, an attraction that draws spectators far and near. They really love and support it. And have offered Brian more jobs than he can count. Brian's advice to anyone who wants to turn a hobby into a career, be meticulous and stay focused. And not giving up. There were times there were supposed to be a thousand lights turned on and only a hundred lights turned on. They didn't turn on the right color. They weren't going the right speed. But it's just that determination that determination of getting it completed.